Welcome back to Trying Vegan with Mario. On this episode, we are going to be using cauliflower to make some incredible vegan comfort food. I'm going to be showing you how to make a delicious risotto recipe. All that when we come back on Trying Vegan with Mario. Now you may have heard that eating more vegan food can be better for your health and it could be better for the environment, but I'm here to make sure it tastes good. Asking how I made this bowl of vegetables, got so much soul. Whoa, in the kitchen trying vegan with Mario. We are gonna start working on my cauliflower risotto recipe. I got my uh, normal cheese grater right here. See it's got some of the bigger holes, gonna take a look, see that. That's what we need. You have a food processor that works great, but we're just gonna grab a piece of cauliflower and you're just gonna start grating it just like you would cheese. And you'll see it comes out pretty easily. And off the first take, look at this little like sprinkle. You wouldn't even notice the difference. It, it, it looks a lot like rice. Once we cook it up into a risotto, you're gonna see that it could actually taste a lot like rice. A lot of the thing about vegan cooking is we're trying to find different types of flavors to, and textures to emulate some of our favorite other foods. And once you get a deeper look into some of the some of the food industry and how animals are kept, you'll, you'll see a lot of it is, the standards are very low, the, the rate of disease, the amount of pus that they allow into your milks, a lot of disgusting things that I almost don't even wanna get into. And I'll recommend a few of my favorite documentaries. Uh, Forks Over Knives is a big one, and, and Cowspiracy is another. And those will those will show you if you haven't seen it yet. But in this internet age, I'm sure we've all gone on Facebook and we've all seen the insides of a slaughterhouse and thought, I just want to turn this off and move on, out of sight, out of mind. But once you really realize the impact you're having, you almost can't go back. So that's what happened to me. My dad owns an Italian sausage factory. Here I am with a vegan cooking show, and I'm showing you guys how to turn cauliflower into rice, the last place I would have expected to be. But now that I have learned about plant-based foods, I've learned about what's happening in the food industry, I definitely see a lot of reasons why you guys should start eating more plant-based foods. Come on guys, we got cauliflower rice we're working on. Let's start heating up our pan with some olive oil, just a little bit, and you can use water as well. I'm not going the full extreme, sometimes I do enjoy no oil cooking. Looking like enough, it just falls. Look at that, looks just like rice. We're gonna see if we can make it taste like rice. Add that to our olive oil. Now this is just gonna cook, cook down and you're gonna start to see some moisture coming out of it and we're gonna add a little bit more moisture back into it later. But first you wanna start by just letting this cook for about five minutes before we're gonna add some of the other ingredients. In the meantime, I'm gonna start smashing some garlic and chopping and mincing that up. That's what's gonna start to keep developing the flavors. Quick little smash, and then we're mincing garlic. I'm Italian, so garlic is one of the most popular ingredients, so that's something that I've been able to keep with me. You know, think about your culture, your heritage. What are some of the most popular ingredients in the food that your friends and family are cooking, that your grandparents are cooking, and how can you take that inspiration, that culture, that family, and turn it into something incredible, turn it something super unique, turn it into something vegan, and then show up at your next holiday party and, and be like, hey, grandma, I got some uh, vegan cauliflower rice risotto for you. And, and you don't even have to tell her, just see what that reaction is. And let me know, I'm really curious and how your family appreciates the different changes that you're taking in your life because I've seen a lot of times that some people are a little bit resistant when you start changing your diet, changing the way that you eat or changing the culture or changing your, your family recipes but eventually I've noticed that a lot of people will hop on board and you'd be surprised the difference that you could make in the rest of your family's lives. So this is ready for a little bit more of some more ingredients. We're gonna add some plant-based milk here. I got coconut milk. It's got a strong flavor. It's what was in my kitchen today. I might use almond milk on another day. It doesn't taste as much, but this is gonna work just as well. We add that in there. We're gonna sprinkle a little paprika on top. We're gonna add a little bit of vegetable broth. Key for vegan cooking and flavor. This right here is nutritional yeast. And one of the best parts about nutritional yeast is that it adds a melty, flaky, nutty, cheesy flavor to your recipes. This is looking good. I like to taste my food as I go. Mm. Need salt. 
bring out some of the other flavors. All right, now come take a close look at this and tell me, tell me this doesn't look like rice. Tell me this doesn't look like a risotto because I'm not buying it. This right here is starting to bring in some of that rice texture, bring in some of that flavor, and we're making a cauliflower risotto. This is done. I'm excited. Ooh. Cauliflower turned into rice. Up next, I have the queen of vegan comfort food coming up, Lauren Toyota. She's gonna teach me buffalo cauliflower bites. I'm gonna let you guys know, do these buffalo cauliflower bites really take on the role of hot wings? All that when we come back on Try and Vegan with Mario. Okay, sold. I'll take the whole order. I need 18 wings. <laughs> 